What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Nick with Christian Reefing, back at you with another reefing video where I do my best to help you keep that tank teeming with living creatures. So today I'm painting the back of a couple fish tanks I have laying around. Just as kind of the first step video to a series I plan on doing later on in the future. So as always guys, stay tuned to the channel. Click that notification bell to be reminded of any future videos I'm doing. And of course you need to subscribe to do that. It's free guys, I appreciate it. It definitely helps out the channel and supports the hobby. So without further ado, let's get started. These are the items I recommend having for this project. The only thing that's required is an oil base paint of your choice. The masking tape, the masking paper, and plastic gloves is just recommended. So I've painted a few tanks before, and what I found is that if I'm using a spray paint, that I get over spray in the tank. And then it's another job just trying to clean it off with a scraper or a blade. So what I like to do is go ahead and mask off all the sections of the tank that I do not want painted, especially the top of the tank, because I don't want to start getting in there with a blade to scrape off overspray. So I like to just go ahead and prepare my tank for painting the background. In today's video, I'm only painting the back and the bottom of the tank. So one of the reasons why people like painting the background of their aquarium is to kind of hide equipment and all the wires that hang off the back of your tank. And I think it's aesthetically pleasing when you paint the background of your aquarium. I like black, so that's what I'm going with today. I think it gives the tank some depth. It gives it a nice, clean, and sleek look. All right, guys, so you don't have to be a professional painter to paint the back of your fish tank. This is really pretty easy, and I think that the more tanks you paint, the better you'll get at it. So just shake the can for a couple minutes just to get the paint all nice and mixed up and keep your spray can between four and six inches away. The further, the better. Just know that if you give a light coat at the beginning, the better job you'll have at the end, the cleaner look. I'm going heavy here. I do plan on using these tanks to quarantine my coral or my fish. And so it's really not that you know important for me to be perfect when it comes to the paint. I do end up globbing the bottom of the tank a little bit, but that's okay, it won't show from the other side. If you're using a spray can like I am, make sure and use a glove. A lot of that overspray will get on your hands and your fingers, and it's really hard to take off. So just wait a couple minutes between coats and let it sit outside for a couple hours to dry. After your tank is dry, just go ahead and bring it in your house, and if you masked it off like I did, just remove the paper. Be careful when removing the tape and the paper. If you did paint some of that tape, um, there is a possibility that when you're removing the tape, that you could peel off the background that you just painted. So just take it easy and take it slow. All right, guys, well, that's the finished product. It didn't really take a lot of time. It took a couple minutes to get it prepped up, but I, I think it's worth it because it saves me from doing another job after I'm finished painting the background, which is to clean the inside of the tank because of all the overspray. You don't want any of that paint in your system. doesn't matter what you're using it for, an office tank, a QT tank of some sort, you don't want no paint in your system. So if you take the necessary steps before you start painting the tank, it'll save you some time later. I could guarantee you that. And that does it for today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. More importantly, I hope you learned something from it. If you did, show some love. Hit that thumbs up button. If you have a question, hit it up in the comments section below, where I will also have a link to the products I used today if you wanted to get them purchased. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment the video. And until next time, may your tanks team with living creatures.